Introducing your strategic web solution, Open T-Shirts. Open T-Shirts is an easy to use website, professional design studio, and a shopping cart. It's easy and professional. With Open T-Shirts, anyone can have a professional custom design website, including your competition. OpenT-Shirts.com, changing the way print does digital. Welcome to Open T-Shirts Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at creating photographic model comps with graphics or adding graphics to model images that we can then take and add to our website and it's really important that we're able to create these images effectively we really want to have a very professional image on our website especially if we're new to the business we're just getting started we might want to get some group photos and different things and add some logos and graphics to those and then add those to our website for our header or for different pages or for marketing purposes you can use these for catalogs or anything like that we're not really limited to just for the web you could use them for anything and this technique will work very well. Now, there's one setting that we want to make sure that we have in Corel Draw. If we go to Tools and Color Management, we want to make sure that our color preset is set to Simulated Color Management off. If it's not set to Simulated Color Management off, then you're going to have problems using these techniques. The default setting is North American General Purpose. And if you're trying to follow this tutorial and you're having issues, make sure you've got this color setting set correctly. So you want Simulated Color Management off. We'll select OK. Now here I've got an image, which is a stock image of three young men who are actually baseball players, and we're going to create sort of like a custom Little League design or graphic with this. I actually got this image from iStock Photo, and it was on sale here. I got it for about, I think it was 3 or $4 total. And you could use this on your website or catalog or for marketing or something like that. But go ahead, and we'll take a look at how we do this. And here you can see I've put the graphic into the T-shirts. And all this is is nothing more than a split of the black from the color and then the images set up in Corel Photo Paint. Looks very realistic. You can see you can barely tell the difference between this and the actual photograph. So the way we do this is really simple. I'll go ahead and take this image. I'll duplicate this two times. And I'll get my graphic here. And one of the things we'll want to do before we go into Photo Paint, we'll want to convert this to a bitmap. Go ahead and resize this a little bit. And I'll just take this graphic and I'll go to Bitmaps convert to bitmap. Now I want to be RGB because this is an RGB image also. Anti-aliasing transparent background select OK. Now this will be ready to go when I start to work with it in photo paint. And I'll go ahead and take this image here. I'll go to effects, adjust, and channel mixer. Go ahead and click reset here. And the first thing I'll do is I'll just pull out the color from the black. So I'll do that very easily. I'll go to the CMYK color model. I'll come down here to the black channel change that to zero and that's going to give me just the color that's in my image. Here with this image I'm going to go ahead and pull the black. So I'm going to take all the color out so all I have left is the shading. Now once again if you don't have the right color settings this is going to, where you're going to have a problem. Go to effects adjust channel mixer go to reset here I'm going to go to CMYK from the cyan output channel I'm going to change the cyan to zero from the magenta output channel, I'm going to change the magenta to zero. From the yellow output channel, I'm going to change the yellow to zero. Now you can see I'm still holding all of my shading, and I'll select OK. Now to set up my graphic, all I'm going to do is go take this image, and I'll go to Edit Bitmap and open that up in Corel Photo Paint. It'll take just a second to load. Go ahead and maximize that. I'll go back to draw. I'll get my Bulldogs graphic here. Now remember, I converted this to a bitmap, RGB, 300 dpi with a transparent background. I'll go ahead and copy that. And then I'll go ahead and paste that back in here. Then I'll go ahead and resize that. And you see that comes in as object two, just like draw, same type of handles. I'll bring this in here, resize it so it looks like it's the right size for the t-shirt. And I can rotate it just a little bit, so I'll click that one time and change to what is the actual rotate status here for that object and set that up just about tilted just a little bit not too much so it looks correct on the t-shirt and then all I need to do is hit control D to duplicate that I now have object 3 I'll bring that and put that right there do the same thing control D I have object 4 and I'll put that right here now he looks like he's a little bit straighter here, so we can go ahead and just bring this rotation down just a little bit right there. 
Next thing I'll do is I'll come over here to my zoom tool. I'll go ahead and zoom in here. I'll get my eraser tool. I can change the size of this here. The nib size, I've got 15 currently. And I'll just come in and erase. Now, I got object 4 selected, so nothing's happening here. I want to have object 3 selected, which is this object here. And now when I start to erase, with that selected in my docker, I'm erasing the image away from the sleeve here. And I'll go ahead and just erase right through there. And then I'll just go ahead and erase the rest of this. Now that one will be all set. Next thing I'll do is change my selection to object 4. I can just scroll over here. I can go ahead and erase right in here. We're along the sleeve now. I'm not happy with that. I'll hit Control Z. Once again, I kind of missed that there. I want to just get right to the edge there. That's as far as I need to go. I want to go ahead and get what's along the baseball bat here. And now this is all set up. I'll go ahead and select Save. And then I'll take that back into draw. Go ahead and close photo paint. Now I've got that set up, as you can see on the graphic here. And the next thing I'll do is just go ahead and duplicate this black right on top of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my transparency tool. I'm going to go to uniform and I'm going to change this to subtract. I'm going to change the amount to zero. I'll go ahead and select that and the image background here. I'll hit C and E. And now you can see I've got my image comp set up with the graphics on the t-shirts of the young men. It looks absolutely photographically realistic. Now all I need to do now is go ahead and set this up to the size that I want for the page that I'm making on my website and export it as a JPEG or a PNG at 72 DPI. So this is just a quick tutorial on how we can very effectively create photographic quality image or model comps for our t-shirt websites or our t-shirt catalogs or whatever have you. And this will really work for any type of custom product. The only thing you want to be aware of when you're using this technique, it really doesn't work for dark garments like blacks and dark grays. When you pull the black out, it's too heavy. I'll get into another tutorial on how to work with t-shirts that are with the dark colors in another session. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next tutorial.